What's up, everybody? What's going on? I'm in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Bensonhurst, my hometown, guys. I'm about to show you guys my hometown here uh, on 186th Street. It's gonna get noisy. gonna get noisy guys we're right over here by the elevated train tracks what do you say we go for a walk let's have a little talk and let's explore Benson Hearst Brooklyn New York City folks let's go for a stroll all right uh, here's the elevated train station uh, train tracks I should say uh, this is the Bay Parkway train station Lots of commuting going on, lots of commuting. And uh, the neighborhood has changed quite considerably since I last lived here. I lived in this neighborhood for 20 years. Uh, not exactly on this street, but uh, just 10 minutes down the road there. It's where I grew up, 20 years, man, born and raised. And uh, I, I don't remember it this crowded, folks. I, I really don't. And of course, uh, the neighborhood has changed in terms of the ethnic diversity. It used to be an all Italian neighborhood, some Irish. Now it's predominantly Muslim and Chinese. Uh, by the way, I just had dinner here at this amazing Turkish restaurant, Istanbul, in Istanbul Bay phenomenal Turkish food so uh, stay tuned for that video I'm gonna I'm gonna include the video uh, in on my YouTube channel a separate video there's a lot of intertwined cultures here especially when it comes to food culture here we have a Chinese restaurant that specializes in roast pork roast pig roast duck A lot of Chinese bakeries. You got everything here. We got florists. Look at this, a Halloween shop. Here's an interesting interesting place. Check this beautiful teaware and uh, all sorts of type of uh, vases and um, Beautiful uh, China, fine China. A lot of fruit. Lots of fruit sold on the sidewalks here. Typical in all of New York City, not just this neighborhood. Ooh, a lot of fruit. Beautiful fruit. <laughs> Very friendly people here. <laughs> big, big, big fruit store. Check this place out. Fruit and veggies. Wow. The store is pretty massive. And you find stuff in here that you just can't find in your local shop, right? You know, check this up. Check this stuff out, man. Look at these roots. Is that yucca? Look at this stuff. You will not find this in your Trader Joe's. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> you will not find this stuff at Trader Joe's. I can guarantee you that. Check out this dragon fruit. Look at the size of those things. I'm gonna pick up two of them before I go home.
Man, these electric bikes go faster than the Corvette. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna cross the street. There's a lot going on on the other side. So I wanna cross the street and uh, give you guys a look at some of these shops. Very lively area, bustling, bustling, bustling. Again, that's the train. Rattling and rolling. You know, you know how old these tracks are? Go watch the movie Saturday Night Fever. It took place right here, the opening scene. Another fruit market. Let's see what they're selling over here. I'm looking for some dragon fruit, maybe some jackfruit. Oh, look at these melons. Beautiful plums. Look at this place. Beautiful rugs. Look at the rugs. Benji. <laughs> All right, let's move on ahead, guys. Let's keep going. It's a beautiful night, by the way. Beautiful evening. It's about uh, 6.30 p.m., something like that. And uh, it's uh, beautiful. It's about 73 degrees. <clears throat> no humidity at all. It is gorgeous out. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the vibe here, man. This is my hood. This is where I grew up. Yeah, it's changed. But this is what I'm used to, man. You know, this is this is this is my hood. I lived here 20 years. Sure, it's changed, but it's gotten it's gotten better, in my opinion. A little more diverse when it comes to food culture, culture period. Oh man, what a gorgeous evening. It is oh, beautiful out. There's a breeze. This is my hood, folks. That's right. I'm proud to have said that I was born and raised here. Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, baby. Most of the Italians left, of course, including us. So uh, we moved Mo more. Most Italians left for Staten Island, New York City, which is a borough just underneath here over the bridge. A lot of Italians left for New Jersey as well. But there's still a lot of Italian Americans in New York City, mostly Staten Island. You know what's perplexing? That there, there's 10 million fruit stores all side by side. How do these people make... <laughs> how do they make a profit? How do they, how do they make a profit? There, there's 5 million fruit stores all side by side. I guess whoever's close, closest to... Uh, closest to it if you happen to be if you happen to live on this block <laughs> if you happen to live on that block you'll go here if you're on the block over there you'll go to the other one <laughs> and there's so many people 
in this neighborhood that uh, these fruit stores do pretty well, as you can see. It's 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 bustling out here, man. This lady's hustling. She's got her hustle going. She's hustling. <laughs> Let's get going, guys. I'm Moneen. Let's go. That's Sicilian for I'm Moneen. I mean, that's I'm Moneen is Sicilian for let's go. Thank you, my brother. Very courteous drivers here in New York City. Well, not really. <laughs> All right, 23rd Avenue. I grew up on 20th Avenue. About 20 blocks down up the road, 10 minutes down the street. Uh, but we used to come here to shop, man. This was where we all went to shop, right here. Federico's. Middle class neighborhood. And you know, I said it changed a lot. Who the hell is beeping? Probably a cab driver. Here's a Japanese joint. Vietnamese. Look at the diversity here, guys. An Italian bakery, Chinese markets. Turkish restaurants, Japanese, you got it, man. We got it all here. The People's Bakery. Here's an Italian bakery. Got a barber shop here. Let's go check out these pastries. Strawberry shortcake. Look at that, a cannoli pie. Looks like a carrot cake, some sort of lemon meringue. Look at the Italian rainbow cookies. Look at these works of art, guys. An Oreo cake. Beautiful, right? Look at that beautiful bread. Look at that. And there are the cannolis. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing a little vlog and I'm just uh, taking a photo of the food and uh, advertising for you. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Baba, the rum cake. What time you close? Maybe I'll come back before I go home. Eight? Okay, great. Beautiful food. People's Bakery, everybody. Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. That rum cake looks so good. It was like drowning in... in in rum. Uh, Bensonhurst is a very safe neighborhood. Lots of families here. People come here to raise families. This is not one of those neighborhoods in New York City that you need to worry about, guys. I've lived here my whole life. If anything, it was worse back then when the mafia was running around. When the Italian mafia <laughs> was all over the fucking place. <laughs> part of my language <clears throat> oh it's gorgeous out delicacy passion patisserie is this a french joint what no it's not Oh, it is French. Look at the macaroons. <clears throat> it's past rush hour now, guys. Uh, we're on 86th and 24th. I grew up on 20th and 63rd, 62nd and 63rd. We eventually moved around the block. But I've lived here for 20 years, so just 20 blocks down this street. 
Oh, this is some place. Friend. Matcha turmeric latte? Are you kidding? Guys, stay tuned. I'm going to end this thing at LMB Spumoni Gardens, one of the most famous pizzerias in New York City, in Brooklyn, just up the street there. Uh, I'm not just going to end it there, but I'm going to also review the pizza, so stay tuned. Here we have a deli, a superette, sometimes known as a superette. Oh, there goes the train, folks. Okay, guys, what do you say we keep moving? There's the residential area. And, you know, 86th Street is very commercial mostly. But the side streets are residential. A lot of people chilling out, eating McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's in about 25 years. There's a look at some of the, uh, the homes on the residential streets. Guys, I want to show you this beautiful firehouse, engine 253, since 1896, folks. I'm going to take a step back and give you guys a look. Bensonhurst's Bravest. Eighteen ninety six, guys. Can you believe that? Lots of traces of, you know, Italian culture here still left. Still lots of famous Italian restaurants, which we're going to go see, including one of the most famous pizzerias in the country. L&B Spumoni Gardens. We're on the, we're on, I'm on my way there now, folks. Stay tuned. Lean back in that chair. Lean back in that chair. Grab your beverage of choice. We're in for a good one, dudes. We're in for a good one. Lots of Chinese restaurants there across the street. Like that whole block is basically Chinese bakeries. Yeah, it looks like mostly bakeries. Chinese medicine.
Looks like somebody's advertising here. Written in Spanish. The bus stops are still full. Oh. Gotta be careful, there's a lot of pigeons. There's a lot of pigeons that roost on these tracks and they you don't want to really walk underneath them because they'll shit on you. They'll crap right on your face. <laughs> you could hear them, right? Are those are the pigeons. All right, folks, let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, guys, the sun is setting. It's getting a little bit cooler, just a little bit. I want to show you guys a sandwich shop. I was raised on this place, man. I was raised in this place. I was raised on this food, Walford here, courtesy of John's Deli. If you ever visit New York City, if you ever visit Brooklyn, John's Deli, guys, all right? John's Deli, I'm telling you. They specialize in roast beef sandwiches. They've been here since 1968. I've been coming here since I was a, a little kid. Original John's Deli. Lots of celebs, lots of celebs. Frank Vincent. Wow. Look at the rice bowl, Sicilian style. Catanese, cone shaped. Got them all sorts of shaped. Fried raviolis, potato and egg. Extensive menu, lots of variety. Man, I'm hungry all over again. I just had all that food at the Turkish place. I'm starving again after smelling all that. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's get going. We got a lot to do. Lots to do. Does she work for the laundry mat? Okay guys, stay tuned. We're about to visit one of the most famous pizzerias in the United States of America. That's right.
very old pizza institution here in Brooklyn. Pioneers of the upside down Sicilian style slice. Check out this joint, Mexican food and pizzeria. Pretty wild. Okay, folks, we're here. Over 80 years. Let me just give you guys, uh, let me turn around a bit, give you guys a look at some of the, uh, the apartment buildings here. All right, let's get to it. The most famous pizzeria in, not only New York City, but in the country. Family owned, over 80 years. l and Spumoni Gardens. I hope to give you guys a good look at the pizza. I will include links to my pizza reviews in the description section. I guys, I have another YouTube channel where I, I review pizza, and it's, uh, it's it's grown pretty rapidly. It's growing. It's growing. It's growing. Here it is, guys. LMB over eighty years, family owned. They're also known for their Spumoni. It's a Monday. It's not too packed. Known for their upside down Sicilian pizza. I'm gonna pick some up right now. What's up, brother? Can I get a Sicilian pie, brother? Guys, go check out Hibby Bar's review. Uh, not review, but he uh, he showcased this place, and I did a film with him. We sat right there. I'm going to include the link in the description as well. This is the ice cream shop. This is the uh, Spumoni area where they serve the ice cream. Not just Pomoni, they have ice cream, cream sickles, you name it. And here's the restaurant section. They make a lot of good food here. It's not just about the pizza, guys. They make a lot of good food here. Their muscle marinara is phenomenal. Their fried calamari is phenomenal. Their pasta dishes, the eggplant, you name it. Beautiful ambiance. It's Monday. You come here on a weekend, forget it. It's like a block party. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna order me some pizza. Hit the link to my other channel. Hit the link to my other channel, folks. Link in the description. I'll be reviewing the pizza there. I'm gonna go order it right now. Beautiful night. I could definitely go for a slice of pizza right now, man. Oh man, I missed pizza. My diet is over, folks. LMB, over 80 years, family owned. This is the place, guys, that pioneered the upside down Sicilian slice. This is where I've been going since I was a little kid. And every time I visit here, I just, the memories just flow, you know? I'm out, guys. Be well. Thanks for watching. Hit the like. Hit the like. Hit the sub. It would help me out. Hit the buttons. Hit all the buttons, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.